Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I am Rashid Yasin, Director of Kalanayas Academy, which is based in Delhi with a branch in Bhopal. We are a reputed institute for civil services preparation and today I have been called by Sam Global University to talk about an important topic of modern industry in order to understand the nuances while you are sitting back at your home due to the pandemic going around us. Clear? Today we are going to talk about all proper legislations enacted by British authority in India in order to ensure proper administration and to sustain colonial rule. These legislations were in further incorporated into Indian constitution as well and has become the basis of Indian administration till contemporary times. In order to understand the legislations enacted by British, we need to keep three things in mind. The first important thing is we need to understand the background and the context under which these legislations were enacted. Then we need to understand the provisions and the implications of those legislations rather than only mugging up the provisions. And third important aspect to be kept in mind is to understand the consequences of those legislations. With these things, when we read up, when we study all these legislations, we can understand about British administration in modern India. The first legislation was enacted by British in, in 1773 as in form of the Regulatory Act. The purpose of this act was basically to regulate the affairs of British East India Company and Court of Directors through British Parliamentarians in London. The Regulatory Act was followed by Pitts India Act and the Charter Acts starting with 1793, which were to be reviewed after every 20 years. These legislations resulted to curtailment of powers of British East India Company and enhancement in the power and prestige of British parliamentarians in London. Finally, the rule of British East India Company was abolished through a comprehensive legislation known as the Government of India Act 1858, which was enacted after the mighty revolt of 1857. Thereafter, British Crown began to rule over India, and important legislation enacted thereafter in form of the Indian Council Act of 1861, Indian Council Act of 1892, and finally Indian Council Act of 1909, which is also known as the Morley Minto Reforms that introduced the controversial principle of separate electorates that led to divide among two religious communities in India. The two most comprehensive legislations enacted by British in India were the Government of India Act 1919 and the Government of India Act 1935 that led to structural changes in Indian administration. In fact, all major provisions of Government of India Act 1935 has been incorporated into Indian constitution and therefore Indian constitution is also termed as the carbon copy of the Government of India Act 1935. Therefore, these are major things to be known in order to understand the intricacies involved in major legislations enacted by the British and all this legislation needs to be done thoroughly for any competitive examination that you are planning to appear in coming days. Thank you so much.